What is up guys, Dirk Knopf's Gamer coming back at you with some more L.A. Noir, and we just abysmally messed up a slip of the tongue. Uh, we fucked that uh, case up badly, or at least I did. Los Angeles Police Department case closed unbecoming. Okay, so hopefully uh, we can delve into this next case uh, and have a little bit more of success, so let's get right into it. I don't know what the heck was going on with that last video. I wasn't thinking. I wasn't paying attention. Flashback. My family runs a shipping business in San Francisco. We used to have two ships a week to Tokyo. We've been in shipping for two generations, Hank. I've never been on a voyage anywhere. I feel like Odysseus in the beginning of his journey. The Odyssey took ten years, Cole. This is the American century. America can rule the world after we win this war. We need to stay alive, Cole. These men are counting on us. Have you heard what the veterans are saying to each other? No. Golden Gate in 48. That's four more hard years of fighting. Better buck up then, pal. The Brown Derby. So I'm, I'm enjoying this game, you guys. Um, I, I need to pay a little bit more attention um, to what I'm doing. The Fallen Idol. Cola King. Hi, drink Cola King. It's good. <laughs> Uh-oh, what's going on here? Wrecked car down in the canyon, boys. Get on it. Phelps, Bukowski, you have a new case. Two women, possible drink drive. How was that a case? The broad says she was doped and that somebody tried to kill her. Drink Where did drive. This take place? That's the bitch you're gonna love. Right across the street. Sweet! <laughs> the Chevy Styline took a what? nose dive off the escarpment. What? Fetched up underneath a Cola King billboard. Up to it, boys. We got bad guys to catch. All right, Jesus Christ! Guy gave his Victims drugged, Chevy uh, Styline, and investigate See you later, crash site. Try not to work too hard. Look at you bantering with the boys. It's a tear to my eye watching my caterpillar grow wings. Shut up, Pukaski. You haven't even educated, hardworking. Hey guys, how you doing? I hate to break it to you, Cole, but you'll never fit in. So. Well, that's why I don't want to fit in Bukowski. That's why I'm a more successful detective than you. Actually, I, I'm sucking asshole, but in all actuality, uh, uh, Phelps is a more successful detective than Bukowski because he's not a total fucking dillweed. All right, Bukowski, I'm going to have you drive, babe. You can drive. Oh god, I thought he was gonna glitch out again. Jesus Christ. God damn it, stock prices are down! Uh, what am I gonna tell my wife? I've lost the goddamn house. My god. I couldn't come up with anything. It was too fast. I didn't have time to think. Crash site, 752 AM. The hell do we get My here? This face looks familiar. Well, that's June Ballard, <laughs> Tarzan's sister, beast of the Amazon. She's married to Guy McAfee. The captain has moved to Vegas now, but the two of them still have juice. They have juice, have they? Huh? What the fuck does Phelps, that even mean? Traffic. Detective Phelps. I know what it means. They hey, still have love for each other or whatever. Long time no see. You could have called this in by megaphone, Enrique. <laughs> Phelps, this is Enrique Gonzalez. Enrique was a pretty decent middleweight. What do we have, Gonzalez? Broad drives right through the empty lot and off the side of the escarpment. Her story is that a movie producer doped her and her friend and sent the car over the cliff. Was anyone hurt? Driver's beat up. Not too bad considering if she hadn't hit that billboard, we'd be scraping both of them off the pavement. Passengers are Jessica Hamilton. She's just a kid. She's pretty knocked around. Kid gonna be all right? I think so. They've taken her to central receiving. If you want to take a look around, just call the ambulance. Thanks. Do that. One more thing. Watch out for the driver. She cuts rough. Oh, she does, does she? Alright, well... Uh, if you're looking for the coroner, he's down by the crash site. 
Okay, well, how the fuck do we get down there? Jesus Christ. All right. Well, I don't know what to do. Hold on a minute, guys. Oh, shit. Wrong one. Investigate the crash site. All right. Well, can we talk to these people for... I, uh, look, Bukowski's right here, so I'm, I'm assuming that... Uh, Mrs. McAfee, we would like to ask you a few questions, if that's okay. Yeah. I prefer to use my maiden name, June Ballard. You might be familiar with some of my work. Nope, not at all. Can you tell us what happened here? <laughs> Just ignore her. You're cute for a cop. Maybe a bit on the serious side. Look, what you about drunk. Me, June? I'm a big fan of beasts. I don't like. Keep out of this. Whoa, God, poor Bukowski, dude. Doping allegations. We understand that you're still suffering from the effects of the accident, Mrs. McAfee. The officer says that you claim that you were drugged. Who did this to you? That rat slipped us on Mickey Finn. It's no wonder I feel so dopey. You, you, you look like trash as well. I can't remember. You just said Mickey Finn. Okay, she's either looking at me in a way because she's, like, uh, liking me, or she is uh, trying to hide something. I don't know what to do. Fuck. Um, I'm going to play the bad cop. It's a serious care. offense to withhold information from I the shouldn't police have done that. I already fucked up. I know I did. Madam. I told you to call me June. You're making me feel like an old lady. And don't bother your handsome head about this. My husband will settle the score with Mark Bishop. Oh, wait, I think we got it. Mark Bishop. Boom. Suspect Mark Bishop. You mentioned a Mark Bishop. You think hey? he might have had something to do with this? He is a movie producer. As for his involvement, you just leave it to me and my husband to worry about. Yeah, I can't do that. I'm a cop. I want to know what happened between you two that made him want to commit a double murder. Bishop offered me a part in his picture. Ooh, I think we got it. I think then we got it. withdrew it. it. Fact is, we had a deal. I pressed him on it. And this is where I end up. Do we get it? Do we get it? Yes, we got it. Thank you. Oh, God. Okay. 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 Now, I'm not sure how this much... This is a big scene, Phelps. We need to get our bearings. Let's go see the coroner. All right, guys, here we go. I finally found the trail down to this place here. I did a, had a little uh, backtracking I needed to do here, but uh, we found it. Okay, what are we going to want to see? Look on the truck. We got some panties and a fucking purse. Let's pick up the panties. They've been torn off. Underwear. Where did you find them? Ew. They were stuffed in the young lady's handbag. I'll run a trace for semen when I get back to the lab. Yeah, you do that. Get some semen. I can tell you right now, I see a bunch of blotches on it right now. I know what that looks like when you use a nut rag. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hey, Bukowski, look at this. I got the fucking underwear waving in the wind, Bukowski. Uh, does that, you like that? You like that? All right. All right. She's a long way from home. All right, guys, uh, we're not going to read that. If you're worried about your father, don't be. All is forgiven. He has not been temper. He is not. He has a hot temper and can be very uh, proud, but you still, his little girl, and he loves you. I know he didn't mean those things he said. You're a good, decent girl. Dear, and you're not made for Hollywood. Okay, so basically this girl ran away to go make it big in Hollywood. How do you know, Mom and Dad, I'm not looking for Hollywood? Shut up. Way to crush your dreams, Mom and Dad. All right, not going to say anything about that. All right. Let's see what else we got here. Oh. Ooh, blood. Looks like they're lucky they weren't more badly injured. Must have been unconscious. Being relaxed tends to lessen the soft tissue damage. Right, thank you, Doctor. Appreciate that. 
Alright, let's see what else we got here. Anything around this side of the car, please? Oh, hold on. Oh, whoa, 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 I had something right there. Yes, we do. Alright, it's the same blood spot we had last time. Before we talk to him, though, I'm find, uh, see if there's any more evidence around here. Hey, buddy, how you doing? I'm fine, sir. Keep your head up. One day you can be a detective just like me. Go fuck yourself. All right, thank you. Thank you. Do you like my broadsider suit? Not really. Why not? Mikowski likes it. Or so he tells me. Get off me, detective. Uh, please, please! Uh, all right. Um, all right, let's talk to the coroner. Drunk driver? Maybe not. How so? Well, a head I found without a body piqued my interest. See what you think. <laughs> Alas, poor Yorick. I knew him, Horatio. <clears throat> Is it real? <laughs> Look at you got all no. serious right after that. I think it's supposed to be a replica of an Indian shrunken head. It's some kind of curio or movie prop. See the casting marks? Oh, shit. Hold on. No, I don't see it. He's a, yeah, I know, I know. Let's see. It looks like a tarantula on the head. What's it made from? Plaster of Paris would be my first guess, then painted. So we can rule out the murder angle? No, you can rule that in. That thing was wedging the accelerator to the floor. Whoever did it wanted these women dead. Never the same, are they? And whoever did it was also an idiot because they left a, a movie prop with the studio's fucking name probably on it. Uh, okay, I think that's it. Another right. day, another dollar. We should speak to Ballard again. She might not be telling us the whole story. I agree, Bukowski. Or are you all right? I'm stuck in time, son. Please help me. Reset me by pushing the button on my back. Thank you. All right, let's go talk to this bitch again. All right, actually, let's check our uh, case objectives here, guys. All right, let's say crash site. We did it. So, Kowski, let's roll, babe. Guys, for the time period that this game originally came out, the graphics aren't that bad. Like, like really, the mechanics aren't that bad. I mean, there's not a lot going on as far as people in the street and noises and stuff, but it's it's not a bad game. Hey, babe, we're coming back to you. What can you tell us about the passenger in your car? Jessica Hamilton. Poor, Poor Jessica. Jessica. Yeah, what happened to her? Did she die? It's been a rough day for her. She's desperate to break into movies. What more can I say? And you look like you're a Class B actress, so shut the fuck up. Okay? Yeah, bitch. All right, hold on. Um, I'm going to bad cop this bitch. How old is Jessica, Mrs. Ballard? I couldn't say how old Jessica is. Old enough, sweetheart. As the saying goes. Damn it! Fuck! We found a shrunken head. I keep fucking these up. Tamper with your car. I'm not good at detective you see, work, guys. I normally don't drive off cliffs. The last thing I remember is getting behind the wheel. Okay, fuck you. I'm gonna accuse her. I, I know it's wrong, McAfee, but... you're lying. You're wasting our time. You know what's going on here. You just won't tell us. You're sweet. But simple, too. The burden of proof is with the law. Ooh, okay. You should run along now. Don't worry yourself. God damn it! This will all get sorted out. This is the way things get done in Hollywood. Damn it! Mrs. McAfee. I think it would be in everyone's best interest if you accompanied Patrolman Gonzalez back to the receiving hospital. I'm going to be okay. These guys can take me home after. Fucking A. My lawyer and I have talked to the news house. Mrs. McAfee, you are still under the influence of narcotics, and you're likely to go into shock once the drugs wear off. And I thought you were a heel. It's nice of you to be concerned. Yeah, fuck you. Here. Let's go see what we can shake out of the kid. Shake out of the kid. Yeah, where is she? Interview Jessica Hamilton. 
Okay, where is she? Alright, let's go interview Jessica Hamilton, ladies and gentlemen. You drive. I need to go over the case notes. <laughs> Do we know where we're going? Oh my god, you were the one, I know I get mad at this every time, but you were the one, Bukowski, that suggested we go... Yeah, that's why we're going there. You were the one Mikowski had said, let's go interview the girl. So you know where we're going, you fucking retard. All right, sorry about the silence there, guys. I had to switch my e that Central Receiving Hospital, 8.19 a.m. Hold up, Bukowski. Don't get ahead of yourself, buddy. Poor Bukowski, he never gets introduced. I never introduce him. He never gets any credit for anything. Hello, Detective Phelps. <coughs> here to interview with Jessica Hamilton. Jessica Hamilton. Yes. Oh, yes. She's in the room right behind you, detective. You can't hold me here. No, I don't need to be manhandled by a doctor. I need my lawyer. You don't have a lawyer. Where is this morning, the Jessica? Do you know who I am? My head still feels swimmy. Mystic Tales. I don't think so. Okay, what are we doing? Hello, Jessica. Sorry, guys. Uh, my name is Cole Phelps. I'm a policeman. I'd like to talk to you about your accident, if that's okay. Um, okay. Okay, here we go. Hopefully, Can you tell be me nicer. what you remember about the crash? It's all kind of fuzzy. I remember waking up here. Nothing happened yesterday. What? You could have died in the crash, Jessica. Why would someone want to kill you? Someone wants to kill me? I wouldn't know anything about that. I just went along with Junie. She knows all about the movie business. Oh, fuck me! We need to get in touch with your parents, Jessica, to tell them what has happened. Oh, you don't need to worry them. They sent me along to stay with Aunt June. They trust her to take care of me. Uh-huh. Bad cop. Jessica, if you don't want me to call your father, you better tell me what happened. Please, please don't call Daddy. Why are you being so horrible to me? Can't you see what I've been through? Oh, no. God damn it. How did you meet Mr. Oh, my Bishop? God. Well, Junie is a big movie Dude, star. I am... You probably know that. Uh, hold on. She's doing a new movie. Good for her. Fuck. What do you know about Bishop? He makes movies. I had to do a screen test. That's when you say some lines in front of a camera with the lights turned on you. God, oh my fucking God. I know what happened to you, Jessica. Where exactly did it take place? Please, it's scary. It's really difficult to think of anything. Okay, that's it. That's it, you guys. I'm accusing her. Fuck it. God damn it. Tell the truth, Jessica. I am telling the truth. I don't know where the place is. I barely know this city. Oh, my God. I think you should leave now. You're being horrible to me. Oh, my think about God, you guys. Jessica. You're getting mixed up with people who will treat you like last week's trash. Are you crazy? I can't go home. I want to be a star. Well, you're going to end up being a two-bit whore. Holy shit, you guys. I got all of those wrong, dude. Oh, my God. Oh, shit. Oh, 
Oh shit, I didn't I didn't search the Okay guys, I fucked up. I should have searched the room first because I would have gotten this. And I could have used this to let her know that she was uh head trauma and soft tissue damage, sustained in car accident, returns of chloride, hydrate and bloodstream, external bruising to genitals and other evidence of criminal abuse. So she was You're raped. Making me dude. uncomfortable. Just standing around here looking at me, not saying anything. Yeah, well, you know what? I finished it all. God damn it. Alright, now what do we need to do? It's the tale of this town, Cole. Lambs that go willingly to slaughter. Who the hell is that? Must be her lawyer. He certainly expedited her release. I don't like it, Cole. Why is she in such a hurry? We should follow her. Go oh, shit. Guys, I totally fucked that up. I sh if I would have found that sheet first before I started questioning her, I could have used that as evidence. There she goes. Come on. But she uh, was sexually abused, and she would have probably told me some shit. Guys, I'm horrible at this game. I'm, I'm... Tail June Ballard. All right, we'll tail her. Yeah, I know. Oh, fuck me! Uh Okay, get away. Don't, don't do it. Too close, Phelps. Way too close. Okay, shut up. I will stay away from her. Don't worry about it. Yeah, guys. I, you know what? But I, I'd rather just play the way I usually play and be myself rather than edit and do it till I get it right. I can always go back and do it on my she own. She seems but... to have made a remarkably oh, speedy shit. recovery. Yeah, no kidding, buddy. <laughs> now would be a bad time to forget how to drive, Cole. No, no! Shit! Oh, I almost got too close to her. It will... Oh! Nope. We haven't done any side cases stuff over the radio. Okay, God, we did it. Yeah, once again, guys, I apologize for being a horrible detective here, but I'm just gonna be myself, let you see me in all my glory. It's fine. Get in there and see what she's up to. Why do I always have to get in there and see what she's up to, Bukowski? Why don't you do some uh, do some detective work, you feckin' animal? Uh, press RB to take cover at the door. Uh, okay, um, alright. Oh, shit. Enter the cafe without being seen? Fuck you. Baby? There. We got it, finally, you guys. No! I don't want him taught a lesson. You know what I want. Well, then make someone else do it! You still know people out here, don't you? Then make some calls! What a dumb idiot. be very clear about this. You get this done, or I'm... Wilson's Hotel. Mr. Mark Bishop, that son of a bitch, lives in apartment 803. Okay. Sure, I got the film. Oh my god, they did some kind of weird sex thing with that young girl. I think they I think they video press speed exit. I think they videotaped uh Hold on, I don't want to wait till she's completely gone so she didn't see me. I think they videotaped uh, her doing some weird stuff with that young girl, and they're gonna. That's why you said, you, "Did you get the film?" That's fucking weird. You know the way. You can drive. Uh, where are we going? Uh, to your mom's house to give her a double banging. What do you think? <laughs> well, I'm gonna bang her. You're just gonna sit there outside while I do. You just drop me off, Bukowski. So what's the story? I'm guessing she didn't stop for light refreshments. She made a call. Sounds like Mark Bishop has a heap of Why wouldn't you make a call from a, the studio address. office that Wilson's you own or that you work at instead of in a fucking... Oh, shit. You better step on it. If he's got any sense, he'll be as far away from home as possible. If he had any sense, he wouldn't have tried bumping off Guy McAfee's wife in the first place. Or he'd done the job properly. McAfee will break a fella's legs just from looking at his broth the wrong way. What did you make of the kid? you believe her story? I no. think she was doped out of her tiny mind and given the casting couch. That fucking bitch Ballard yeah, sold her out. Yeah, that's exactly what happened. 
So if Ballard was doing someone a favor, why did they try to kill her? Hopefully we can figure that out and crack the key. What? Can we go to that? I don't think we can do it. I think I have to be driving in order to take those side things. So guys, I'm probably also not doing very well because I haven't done any of the side stuff that comes up. Um, but I'm just playing this like I'm playing. It's my first time ever playing this game, so I'm having fun. And if I miss some stuff, you can rail me in the comments. That's fine. What ads? I'm just get, I'm just playing, you know. Welcome. Tell palm trees guide your way down this sensuous path. Bishop's apartment. Ain't it? Just slow down, guys. Jesus Christ. Go! Why did I stop running? Fuck. I'm Detective Phelps. We received a call about a domestic disturbance in apartment 803. Oh, oh it is a side mission. Listen, Mrs. Bishop's pretty upset. Uh, take the elevator and then left down the corridor. It's the last door on the right. Okay, we did take it. Okay, so guys, we did take a side mission on this. Okay, cool. Wait, what? Take the left on the fucking what? Okay, here we are, guys. I don't know, I'm just really... Sounds like we're about to make it a hat trick of hysterical female witnesses. I think this is one of the side things, you guys. I'm not sure, but I, I mean... Okay, there's a golden knob right there. LAPD, ma'am. Are you in danger? I'm all right now. You just missed them. Horrible, awful men. Are you injured, Mrs... Mrs. Bishop. Gloria Bishop. Please, come in, officers. I'll just need to sit down for a moment. Forgive me. That's the perfectly hell? normal, ma'am. Just look at this mess! We'll take a quick search of the premises, ma'am. You take a moment to gather your thoughts. I... I will. Thank you, officer. Okay, Gloria Bishop. This is not a secondary, guys. This actually what goes along with this case. Yeah, what, what, what the fuck am I supposed to do here? Oh, investigate Bishop's apartment. All right, come on. What do we have here, please? Doesn't look like anything. Actually, it looks like a statue, Phelps. It's a statue of Buddha. Thank you very much. All right, so let's begin just right here. A vase. Seems irrelevant. Seems irrelevant, but damn, is it shiny. Look at that goddamn shine. It's like liquid nitrogen silver. Mmm. I don't even, what liquid nitrogen silver? What, I don't know what that is, but thank you. Oh, a book, New Testament. Circumstantial. Once again, the Lord is calling you, Cole Phelps. Found a Bible earlier uh, in another. Look at this. Gay Cowboys. Presented to Mark. With thanks from Silver Screen Props. Gay Cowboys to Mark Bishop. Okay. All right, let's, go, uh, let's go in this first room. They tossed this place over pretty thoroughly. Oh wow, we got three things to look at. Nothing significant. Nothing significant. A nice silver brush. Probably nothing. What do you mean it's probably nothing? That's made out of fucking fine mare hair, babe. All right, come on. Junk. Junk. All right. Oh, oh, a check. Ooh, twenty thousand dollars. Have to do check. to earn twenty thousand dollars. Uh, be in the movies or be married to a rich fucking producer? You idiot. Jesus. Oh my God, what is this? 
It doesn't give me anything to go on. Okay, well, that's nice. Wait, what? Ah, oh, get out of here. Alright. Keep going. Whoa, 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 whoa. Alright, what's in this room? Hello, Cole Phelps. I'm your great ancestor, Marv Erston. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, guys. I'm not really feeling that energetic tonight for some reason. Oh, five dollar bill, y'all. I doubt it. I mean, you doubt it. Take the pocket, the goddamn money, buddy. Cucano. Maybe if. No. <laughs> Maybe if I could attach these cigars to the butt end of her ass, I could find a. Looks like the old movie set downtown. Huh, okay, okay, hmm, what does that have to do with anything? I don't know. What the fuck? God damn it. No, 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 get out of that. All right. Oh, look at this. Look what we have here, please. Great Wall of Babylon. A replica of a replica. Intolerance. Love struggle throughout the ages by... D.W. Griffin, The Great Wall of Babylon. Very nice. Matchbook. Doesn't tell me anything. Uh, it tells you something. It tells you the name of... Oh, bottle of scotch. Whiskey. Not everything here is going to be relevant. Well, we're looking at it all because... All right, nope. All right, let's go. Oh, Jesus Christ. That's smashed. Shouldn't we be able to look at that? It's smashed. All right, let's go in here. What is this, the kitchen? Oh, my God. Sorry, I guys. We're just... man than me to connect that. We got to go through everything, you guys. I'm sorry, but... Oh God! Hey, if we want all the music to go away, anything. I want to try and find all the clues. Not much help. Um, all right, what do we have here? Hmm. Don't think this is any use to us. Principles of color and color mixing, okay. Wait, what? Oh, here we go. Here's a picture. This will mean something. Yep. Looks like a mermaid in the background. Silver screen. Who are these men in the picture? Hey! My husband, Mark, and Marlon Hopgood. They work together on occasion. That's Hopgood's shop. All right. Finally found something screwed in between all this. Okay, all the all the clues were. All right, cool. Now it's in. A, oh wait, whoa, 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 what? Let's talk to her. Domestic disturbance. Those men. I think they work for Guy McAfee. Do you know the name? No. Why should I? June Ballard is married to Guy McAfee. Have you heard of her? That slut. <laughs> She's been badgering my husband for days. Mrs. McAfee alleges that your husband tried to kill her and her friend last night. I think you should tell us what you know. My husband's a movie producer. This has something to do with his new picture. He doesn't include me in his business. Look at that smug... Fuck you. I'm accusing you. You're lying you. to cover it. for your husband. Do you know what you'll get for aiding and abetting? I've been abused and slapped, and now I'm accused of lying? Uh... See, so I don't have to use these. I'm gonna back out of it. Nothing personal. I'm just doing my job. 
You understand that? Maybe she doesn't understand that. I'm gonna good cop it. Let's Your husband cop was it. using June Ballard in his new movie? Hardly. Mark feels that June Ballard has limited range and is over the hill. Damn it, what the hell? Where can we find your husband, ma'am? He told me he would be on set. That's all I know. You are complicit in all of this, Gloria. You know what happens to these poor I'm totally kids. I'm totally fucking you go along happy, guys. I need to find your husband. Why'd you come to Hollywood? Oh, my God. Handsome young man like you might find a little something in the movies. You've never thought about it? Oh, you No, I haven't. Well, then you must be the only person in this burg who hasn't. We're born into temptation, detective. It's character that determines what we do about it. The fuck are you talking about? God damn it! Why is your husband paying Lorna Hopgood $20,000? Lorna? Marlon's ex-wife? Are you sure? There's a check on the floor, you fucking idiot. Fuck you. You're lying, Mrs. Bishop. It's some kind of payoff. You know exactly what the money is for and who it's getting paid to. Do I? Would you like to prove that, detective? Yes, you fucking smug bitch. I'm gonna... Sorry. I'm gonna... $20,000 check, you whore. Your husband looks like he's being blackmailed. They obviously have something on him if he's prepared to kill to cover it up. Why is the payment going to Hopgood and not McAfee? Lorna works at a check-cashing place in Hollywood. You need to ask Hopgood why he needs that much money in cash. Okay, at least I got that one right, but I still, I'm not good at figuring this stuff out, guys. I really am not. Your husband was at a casting yesterday with a young girl? Not that I know of. He told me he was looking at locations. The picture's been cast. God, she saw, her voice annoys the fuck out of me. And I don't like her facial expressions either. Okay. Uh, I want to play bad cop. Jessica remembered a mermaid. The mermaid on the front of the prop store. You better come clean with me. This is a sick town, detective. Are you sure you really want to know? The truth is, my husband likes them young. And you think that's okay? I was 16 when I first met him. Yeah. I thought he was a genius, a magician with film. I was 20 before I realized he was just a B-movie hack. But he's nothing compared to some of the monsters at these big studios. My guess is Ballard sacrificed her little friend. Happens to a lot of girls. Yeah, like the Black Dahlia murders, remember that? Your husband is in trouble. It could go easier for him if you were more helpful, Mrs. Bishop. He's a big boy, detective, and so are you. This is Hollywood. There's always a deal to be done. Oh, fuck you. Oh, my God. Can we pistol whip her stupid ass, please? Jesus, we need to use... Oh, I got to talk to my partner. Hold on. What now? We need the place from the picture. The prop maker store with the mermaid out front. Call it in. Call it in. Will do, baby. Call it in. Operator, message for KGPL. Putting you through now. Thanks, Gina. Cole Phelps, badge 1247. How can I help, detective? I need a location on a silver screen prop store. Just a moment. Silver screen props, corner third and Figueroa. Thanks. Excellent. All right, bitch, we're coming back for you. We're going to both, me and Bukowski, we're going to plow you right on that couch. Your husband doesn't deserve you. All right, let's go, Bukowski. Wait, should I talk to him again? Let's, let's, let's give a little talk to him again. Advice? Silver screen props is our next stop. All right, let's roll. Let's roll. All right, <laughs> let's roll. I wish we could explore these other rooms. Let's roll, babe. One thing I noticed about this older Gen movie star, okay. wannabe starlet, movie producer's wife, we're finally rubbing shoulders with the almost rich and famous. And from the stories they've given us, clearly none of them can act. Right, they're all pieces of shit that wannabe stars that are B-rated movie actors and actresses that are horrible. 
They're sick degenerates. What does that say? Uh, Harris and Frank. You're behind the wheel. So where do you want to go? Bukowski, I want to go to Silver Screen Props. Let what you suggested we go to, you son of a bitch. Mrs. Bishop knows more than she's letting on. She doesn't seem to realize how much trouble her husband is in. The LAPD are the least of their worries right now. Eh, you think she'd have gotten the hint after those hatchet men redecorated her apartment? Maybe she's just loyal. Or she's in on it. She didn't seem like your average giddy broad with nothing between the ears. Or she might just be trying to buy enough time for Bishop to put a couple of oceans between him and... The hell was that, Bukowski? The hell kind of stop was that, buddy? Oh, guys. A little bit tired. Um, not too energetic, uh, this sesh. Um, last couple of sessions here, I haven't been too energetic for some reason. I don't know. I just ever get one of those moods where you're just... Uh, there's a lot of change going on with me, and I'm just feeling a little bit uh, blah. But I'm still bringing you video games because I like to play when I feel blah. I like to play when I feel good and when I feel blah. Silver screen props, 10.43 a.m. Oh, come and see me, detective. Look at these big, big, big old titties. And I'm hanging on the end of this ship. Come on in. Oh, I will. Bukowski. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. What's up? Quit looking at those tits. Let's get in here. We got a job to do. Oh, yeah, you're nice, Big Bear. How you doing, Big Bear? Phelps and Bukowski, LAPD. We're investigating the attempted murder of June Ballard and Jessica Hamilton. Oh, Christ! I'm Marlon Hopgood. How can I help? You hold castings here? How'd you hear about that? I got a little soundstage out back. Lead the way. Uh, let me just clean up the jizz rags and the stains on the carpet. Okay! <laughs> Do not enter. Please turn around. Bukowski, oh, coming? suck him off. Thanks, Bukowski. <laughs> Summer breeze makes me feel fine. Flowing with the jasmine in my mind. Hey, Bukowski, pick up a couple of quarts of this paint. What? There was a clue that just went off right here. So this is where you sprang from. Okay, guys, we just found this, uh... No, get out of that! Here we go. Dope flood streets. Cops chase war surplus contraband. Overdose deaths hit an all-time high. Narco squad... Narco squad say new shipment is deadly. Let's take a look at it. Mocambo! Listen, I, uh, have to call you back. I got some business here. Sit down, Courtney. This is Mickey. Mickey, this is Courtney Sheldon. What would you like to drink? Scotch. Straight up. I hear you're back at school learning to be a doctor, kid. Yes. That's right, Mr. Cohen. So you want to be a doctor and a dope peddler. <laughs> Interesting combination, huh? Do we have a problem, <laughs> Mr. Cohen? We might have, yeah. Selling your dope to my boy Lenny looked like a good move, but Lenny has been supplying, uh, wholesale so to speak. The Bindle boys in this town aren't used to the juice without a little of the middleman taking his cut. Lenny promised that wouldn't happen, Mr. Cohen. And Lenny works for you. What can I say about Lenny? Let me think. He's oh, yeah. dead. He's a putz. And he's lazy. And he's greedy. But he's my wife's brother. <laughs> now can you make a cake with those ingredients, huh? <laughs> Am I right? So how is that my problem, Mr. Cohen? Because you've... Well, kid, the only way we're going to be able to make this work is to do some repackaging. 
We need to get the dope out of those dinky little cardboard boxes. And Surettes. Yeah, Surettes. Right. We can put it into a big vat so we can water it down a little bit. I won't bore you with the chemistry, but it doesn't work that way. You're likely to kill even more people. Okay, listen. We want to buy you out, kid. I'll offer you 50 grand. What, are you kidding me? Hey. Hey! You don't like my offer? Uh, Courtney Sheldon, you're messing with some mobsters, buddy. Shouldn't have done that. Ah, fuck. The Sheldon kid? I think I want him dead. Fucked up there, Courtney. You done fucked up, Sheldon. You don't just walk away from a mobster like that, you fucking... putz. Okay, so uh, we're learning more about Courtney Sheldon. Apparently, he's starting to sell uh, dope now. I'm not sure if the teacher has something to do with that as well, or if he went in on the business with the teacher. But, but either way, he is a dead man. Okay, so I don't know. That doesn't have anything to do with what we're doing right now. So we might have found that early. But we did find what we needed to. Uh, in this particular case, we found the shrunken heads. We can tell that they were made here. The ones we found in the car. The one we found in the car is the same. So let's uh, actually hold on and see if there's anything in here real quick. Nope. All right. Move, Bukowski, you fig. Keep him here, Stefan. I'm gonna take a look around. What's this got to do with me? Don't try my patience, knucklehead. <laughs> Bukowski's the muscle. All right, what the fuck is this? All right, let's check out this dressing room first. Oh God, these are all inconsequential. No good to me. Yeah, I know it's no good to us. All right. Pick it up. Nope. Nope. Bathroom stall. There's a floater. Found a floater, Bukowski. Oh, cool. Look, you see your reflection. You can see your reflection in that. That's pretty cool. Alright, let's go. Let's get to the main let's get to the main area. Oh, there's something right there though. Hold on. Yep, I knew it. This doesn't pertain to the case. Then why are we picking it up? I don't think this is gonna help us. It's a damn fine looking hat. Throw that on, Bukowski. Alright, let's take a look. Damn, I look Turn good. off the lights, Hopgood. Why would I want to do that? Just do it. Oh, camera. Runway mirrors. There's a room on the other side. Huh. Well, well. Find a way into that peep den, Phelps. I'll stay here and keep our pervert company. All right, I think I can break it. There we go. Did you see him staring at the key? No fake. Oh god. Secret camera room. I take it we're gonna have to search this. Oh god. Ooh, Mark Bishop, Jessica Hamilton. So what happened to the film of Hamilton's screen test? The lady has it. The lady still has it. Remember, we heard her on the phone saying she had she got the film. All right. Los Diablos. Oh yeah. All right.
Oh, whoop. Oh, get out of there. Fuck. I wonder if they saw this, how many budding starlets would still get on the bus to come to Hollywood. All of them? Because they will do absolutely anything to become famous. Here we go. Nice. Bishop's Jungle rib. Drums, 8th and Francisco. Attention, Mark Bishop. All right. Nice, got it all. There's our familiar music of finishing all the clues. All right, let's go question this bitch. Hey, fat ass, we're coming to question you. Got some explaining to do, buddy. You ever do any work for Mark Bishop? Mainly do work for the studios. RKO, Republic, Warner Brothers. So, yeah. When Bishop is doing work for a studio, yes. When did you last see him? Yeah, I'm doing work for his next picture. Still pre-production, though. You didn't answer the question. I haven't seen him around here in a while. All right, fuck this guy. He was here yesterday, and something happened that pushed him over the edge. You're holding out on us, Hopgood. You know, I have very good connections with the Vice Squad. And well, there's a surprise. They won't appreciate you coming in here and strong-arming me. Fuck! God damn it! Son of a bitch! McAfee's men are looking for Bishop. Oh we need God. to find him first. I have Any idea where he might have gone to ground? If he really tried to kill McAfee's wife, my advice to him would be to leave town. God damn it. Fuck it. You have something I know on I him, fucked and up now right you're going to rat him out to McAfee's goons. And how do you figure that, brain boy? Um I never liked Bishop. He always made out like he was better than everybody else. He was no better than any of the other big shot creeps who came in here. Oh That's all for now, Hopgood. God! We're taking you in. Phelps. Roy Earl advice. Hold on a moment. This is clearly a vice case. You've been roughing up my informant? Hopgood is a vice informer? Yes, he is, Phelps, and a very important one. Look at that mug. Have you been upsetting these two officers, Marlon? Holy so we just shit. drop it? You do if you know what's good for you. You need to catch the movie producer before an angry husband does, from what I'm hearing. I'll be making a full report to the captain, detective. You do that, kid. We're all very impressed with you. Let it slide, Cole. Let's get out of here. Get out of here, you goody two shoes fuck. I don't like myself. Detectives. Oh, Johnny no. Goldberg. What is... You work for Mickey C. That's right, detectives. You wouldn't happen to know the guys who roughed up Mrs. Bishop earlier today by any chance. No, no, not us. We don't do that kind of thing. It's the husband we'd like to talk to. This is a police matter. You don't want to be taken in for obstruction of justice, do you, boys? You could try the obstruction rap, but, uh, it won't stick. We could beat that. You've had your 10 cents worth, gentlemen. Bishop knows how the world works. Mrs. McAfee hits him up for a movie part. Happens every day. But Bishop takes it a step too far and tries to rub out Mrs. McAfee. Naturally, Guy is going to get upset. Exactly. What made you think Bishop would be here? We figure he might be planning a little accident for Hopgood, too. Those two guys have got some unfinished business. You let us know if you find Bishop. Guy McAfee can be a very generous man. I'm only going to warn you once, gentlemen, to stay out of this. This is a police matter. We will be bringing Mark Bishop into custody. <laughs> At least he's polite. Kind of dumb, but polite. But I'm a lot less polite, you smug son of a bitch. Yeah. So let me put it in ruder terms that even a pair of blockheads like you might understand. The only reason that you don't have bars on your windows already is because you're small fry. And we don't waste our time on small fry. You stay away from Bishop, and you stay away from me. Is that clear enough for you, asshole? Now run along back to your boss so we can pat you on the head and tell you what good boys you are. Boom, Bukowski! 
Bukowski's like the dumb muscle. He's like my bodyguard, dude. Oh, oh Jesus! Like what the fuck? Oh my god, RB it, RB it! Got him. Bukowski! Get undercover! Got him. What the fuck? Get down, you idiot! Covering fire! What the fuck? Run! I thought there was only two of them! Fucking A! Where are they at? Oh, they're right there, I see. Okay, I see him. Okay, sorry guys. I, I, I didn't know where they were coming from. Oh, they're okay, I see him, I see him. Let's move forward! I'm trying to move forward. Oh, you fucking asshole! Come on! Got him. Oh, Jesus! Run, you idiot! Got him. Holy shit, you guys. This firefighting's weird, dude. Holy crap, dude. You can't move very... The mechanics on this... Let's see him chase us now. On to the movie set, Phelps. Let's roll. Don't we have to call that in or something, Bukowski? Let me get my goddamn hat. All right, on to the movie set? That's fine. Yeah, we will. It's going to take a different car, though. Can you drive to this one? And where exactly are we going? On to the movie set. That Mark Bishop's producing. Oh, Christ. And they say working traffic is like watching paint dry. Huh, <sighs> you know how to piss people off, Bukowski. Hey, if they're prepared to gun down cops in broad daylight, McCaffrey really means business. Seems like we're the only ones who want Bishop alive. I have a good mind just to let him go work on the son of a bitch. I'm about done putting my life on the line to protect some child molester. That's our job, unfortunately. They don't get to dole out the justice. Yeah, we should let them. Phelps, you goody two-shoes fuck. Jesus Christ, the mechanics of this gunfighting is it's not easy, dude. You have to press RB and then you just move and it's just... It doesn't go as fluidly. This game is pretty old, that's why. But, um... Shouldn't we call <laughs> shouldn't we call that in? We just fucking had a big shootout and just left the scene, left all the dead bodies there. Fuck it. Bukowski said let's move, let's fucking move. Jungle drum set, 5.30 p.m. It's all coming together. Okay, hopefully we can fucking pass this case, you guys. There's a slippery bastard now. No. God damn it! Oh, you're dead. Phelps, I'll cover oh. the exit. Okay, that's fine. Mark where? Bishop, stop! LAPD! Oh, fuck, where is he? There he is, there he is. I got him, I got him. Let's go, buddy. Chase down better than you. I don't think he has a gun. Come on. God, look at this set. It's huge, dude. Oh, you're not gonna get me. I've been running for this whole game. I'm exercising. We're trying to help you, Bishop. This is all a big mistake. Okay, then stop running, you jackass, because I'm getting tired. Okay? Oh, fuck. He just jumped down this. Come on, buddy. Come on. See, I don't even press any buttons to jump. Oh, God! Oh Jesus! This is like it's a movie scene McCaffrey itself. Boys, your choice. I didn't do anything. Ah, oh, another kick to the face, huh? <laughs> Buns of steel. All right, let's go. Oh shit! It, it just automatically turned me around, dude. I don't have to press any buttons to jump. It just does it automatically. Which I kind of don't like that because I like to be able to press a jump button. Bishop, that's enough. Go 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 go. What the fuck? What the? How the hell am I supposed to get over that? 
Got it. Okay, got it, got it, guys. Got it. Got it. God, that was close. Holy shit, this is kind of wild. Oh my god, oh my god. Jesus Christ. How is he going to be dead if he moves another inch? Mark Bishop, you're under arrest for the attempted murder of June Ballard and the rape and attempted murder oh of God. Jessica Hamilton. All right, I'll come quietly. Just don't kill me. If you found me, then McAfee's goons will too. Oh, we need we need to get out of here. There they are. Oh shit, shootout time. All right, but you stay close. Any tricks, and I'll save McAfee's boys the trouble. Follow me. I know another way out of this place. For a B-movie producer, it's a pretty huge set, dude. Oh god, oh god. Christ oh my god! They're trying to kill me! Get Bishop off the Last lot alive? The hell down. Oh wait, oh, what, what the fuck? Where are they gonna be coming from? <gasps> oh shit! Fuck you. McAfee doesn't make the rules. You hear me? Reinforcements are on the way. Cease and desist. Oh, Jesus. Stop, you idiot. Don't run so far ahead of me. Oh, my God. Kill them, for God's sake. I don't want to die. All, all right, hold on a second. LAPD, you're making a big mistake. Oh, God damn it. All right, all right, I got it. Got, got. Shut, shut my goddamn head off. That's gonna, it's gonna, oh, that's going to cost you, buddy. What kind of gun is this? Got him. Shoot the barrels to the wall. There's no nice. way out of here. I thought you said you knew where you were going. We have to jump for it. Jump for this it? Is this really the best McAfee's got? Oh god. Where'd he go? Oh my god! Come on, got him. this way. No! Oh my god. Got him. Boom. Finally some action in the game. Got him. Where are the other ones? Where are they coming from? Gotcha, boy. Okay, well, just stick close to me, buddy. You'll be fine. All right, go. This is all balanced. Okay, can you direct me on where to go, buddy? Jesus Christ! Oh, fuck Whip me in the ass! The now. Oh God! Oh no! Fuck me! I need to get under some better cover. God damn it! There's a ladder leading to the ground. All right, hold on. I gotta heal up, buddy. I should have known that bitch was trouble. Okay, is there a way to just slide down, please? This if there, okay. There we go. Get him over here. I'll cover you. Come on, the cavalry's here. Uh, okay. All right. All right. All right. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Slide down. There is a way to slide. There it is. Oh my God! Don't go out there, yeah, Bishop. Those barrels at the base of the elephant column. They're full of gasoline. Where? Quickly. All right, guys. Hey, welcome back. I just died, but uh, it's edited out. I, 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 you said there's some barrels. Is this really the best McAfee's got? Uh, it, they're doing pretty well. Get down, you fucking idiot! The barrels at the base of the elephant. I don't see any barrel. I don't see any fucking barrel. Oh, there we go. Okay, sorry, guys. I'm just getting a little bit perturbed here. We need to get him to the car. Yeah, all right, that's fine, but... God damn it. Oh, oh, oh my god! Get 
Got him. All right, let's go. Don't get in front of it. Oh God. Go, 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 go. Jesus Christ, seriously. Get into the car. I can cover you from here. You're almost there. What is that? What is this? What's going on here? Cover. What's going on here? How am I not? Sh oh Jesus! I'm fucked, you guys. I fuck. I okay, we'll come out at. Oh God! Where's the rest of them? Got him. Got him. Okay. Whoo! Now this is what I call a result. Thank you, victorious. You got first wild it. film producer, an all-around piece of shit, uh. catches a fast ticket to Quentin for statch rape and attempted murder. So he gets to spend the next 15 years playing sissy instead of sticking it to little girls. That is justice with a capital J, Detective Phelps. You developed such a reputation, I'm not going to be able to hold on to you any longer. Nice, dude. You're getting promoted. Go on, get your new assignment. It was good working with you, son. Gonna miss you, Bukowski. Hey, I'll call you later. All right. Sweet, guys, we got promoted to a new, uh, hopefully we're gonna go into Vice now. I think so, dude, look it, here we are. Bukowski, you're with me, buddy. Take a shot of this Bells. heroin. Bukowski, this your work? Can I help you, detective? Sorry, Cap. Didn't see you there. Yeah, I'll bet you didn't. This is a traffic case. You need something? I'm here to buy a drink for the two LAPD traffic cops who broke the back of Guy McAfee's private army. You don't have a problem with that, do you, Captain? Go right ahead. Get in. I'm buying. Go right ahead. I'll kick your fucking ass later, pal. Oh, we get to go into the blue room. Uh, so I did a lot of editing on this video, guys, because uh, for some reason I'm just playing sloppy. Like this place. A lot of movie people hang out here. Oh, you like great. jazz, Cole? The hopheads love it. Sure, I guess. Big bands and swing, I can understand, but this bebop palaver? How are you supposed to dance to that? I don't know. This is Phelps, Leroy. Be nice to him. You'll like this place. They treat you right. What about Bukowski? <laughs> what about Bukowski? This is Phelps and his lackey. What do you think we want to do? Stand at the bar like I'll chumps? Get a table ready for you. Don't look so happy to see me, Alphonse. I might get the wrong impression. Cole, this is Alphonse. He's a French Negro from Africa. Can you beat that? The Congo. A pleasure to meet you, Alphonse. Is Elsa singing tonight? Yes, yeah, she is. She has the next set. Come on, Cole. You can meet Elsa while they're fixing us a table. You'll like her. She's something else. Maybe another night, Roy. She's pretty beat up about it. Get your hands off me. Don't ever tell me what to do or what not to do, Alphonse. You got a nice club here. Don't spoil it. If you will follow me, detectives. You know what? This takes place Just in the 50s, the so there's still a little bit of racism, a little bit going on here, but... If... Hey, Alphonse! It was my only real friend, Harlan. We went through it all. You realize what he meant to me? Oh my god, oh, dude! You the, have no idea. The teacher! You it was construction work. It was an industrial accident, Elsa. How can I be held responsible? Elsa, are you going on? Lois, for God's sake, he was my best friend. Okay. The only man who ever loved me without putting his hands on me. Hi, Elsa. Oh, well, that's rarity. Here's someone I'd like you to meet. Cole Phelps, war hero and crime fighter extraordinaire. And why would I want to meet another fascist? the LABD. Sorry about this, Cole. What an evening I'm having. First a Negro puts his hands oh on me and then God. this. <laughs> Who do you think you're talking to, you German junkie whore? Oh my Don't God. Don't ever forget your place with me again. Do you hear me? Wow. Evening, Doc. How's business? Sanguine. Louis, help me here. I'm gonna have to give her something before her performance. Blow it off, Cole. 
These artsy fartsy types always get a little flighty. Meet Dr. Harlan, Harlan Fontaine, Fontaine, Doctor to the Stars, Mr. Fix It to the Mental Wreckage of Hollywood. So, okay. what about that drink, boys? This guy's a little shady, dude. This new, my new partner here. I think we're going to have a problem with him. I think it's going to end up being a problem because I'm a goody two shoe and he's kind of bends the world. This is like a Serpico, dude. Okay, finally. Jesus Christ, that one was a long one. Closed case. Uh, um. Uh, Los Angeles Police Department case closed. M meritorious, meritorious, promoted homicide desk. Boom, dude, check it out. We had 95 city damage, but we had zero. Let me read it in order. I'm sorry. Traffic complete. Your actions have earned you a promotion. Prepare for reassignment. Nice, dude. Clues found. 17 of 18. Questions correct. Four of 14. That's fucking terrible. Zero vehicle damage. Zero injury damage. And city damage. 95 dollars. Okay, case notes. Reaching the apartment earlier would have meant a choice to give McAfee's goons what for? W w would have meant a chance to give McAfee's goons what for? I don't even know what the fuck that means. Okay, guys. Nice. Okay, so I'm a little bit... So these last two videos, uh, the last two videos that I've done, uh, number five and this being number six, um, have all been recorded in the same night. So, and I'm feeling a little bit sappy tonight. A little bit uh, sappy by meaning... Uh, feeling like I'm not flowing with my commentary for some reason. I don't know why. I don't know what's going on, but uh, I, I am I am excited about playing this. I'm excited we got promoted. I think we're in the Vice Squad now, so um, if, uh, we're gonna go on. To, I'm gonna play the next uh, case as well tonight. Um, so these are all in one night, guys. So I'm gonna end this video right here. The fall night will be passed. We're promoted. Thank God. Um, if you guys like that video, go ahead and smash that like button. If you're not subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you are subscribed or just recently subscribed, don't forget to also guys click on that bell icon by the right hand side of the subscribe button, which will enable you to get all new videos and content when it goes up on my channel. So you won't miss a thing. You'll be notified. And guys, like I always say, wherever you're at in this big, bright, beautiful world, whatever time zone you're in, I hope you're doing exactly what you want to be doing with your life and for your life. And you're enjoying it. And if you're not, make it. So, so guys, when we come back, we're going to start our first case with our new partner. I don't know if Bukowski's going to be with us or not. I kind of hope Bukowski still is. Uh, we're going to go into the drug world. So guys, until the next video, I love you and we'll see you then. Peace.